Now it goes without saying, just like we had Shahira come and speak about the community collaboration uh, category, we have another friend of ours, Peter Lacey of Accenture, who is joining us here today. Now, Peter, I'm going to keep him backstage uh, for a second. I, I know he can hear me and see me, and, you know, and I don't want him to blush. But Peter has been uh, not just a, a sponsor, or a, or a, a, and I don't take it lightly to say partner, he is a co-founder of this uh, movement of ours, and I welcome him uh, to the ceremony. Hi, Peter. Hi, Vikas. Can you hear me okay? We can hear you. We can see you perfectly well. Mm -hmm. Peter, tell us about why environmental action is important. Well, I think, uh, I mean, it goes without saying that um, we have um, some big challenges ahead of us over the next uh, decade or more in, in uh, renewing and restoring and regenerating the kind of planet that we all want to live on um, and that uh, really provides uh, enough for the many and not for the few and uh, that's going to take a huge effort it's going to take an effort in policy making circles in business in technology um, but it's also going to take a huge effort in terms of people's mindsets but also their skills their knowledge and uh, I think, you know, along with uh, technology, it's going to be the difference maker over the next decade. So that's why for me and for Accenture, um, it's been an absolute privilege to be able to support the Sustainable Schools Prize and, and to support you, Vikas. But also um, it's just been enormously inspiring to see some of the incredibly concrete um, actions and different ways that different schools have been approaching their contribution to that journey. Um, so can, well, whoever we announce, I just want to say a huge congratulations from me and from Accenture. And, and actually, you know, the, the final thing I'll say, because is, um, you know, from my perspective, one of the biggest objectives of all of this is that we're able to capture the amazing things you're doing and see more and more people around the world uh, repeat them um and that we're able to actually then see this you know scale at speed that schools become a real change agent um for that journey we need to go on fantastic so peter we've been trying something and i know i know you abhor uh, selfies uh, but i am going to ask every, I, 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 I know i know i know i know that we have practiced all of us have practiced all all of us who are watching have been practicing for this moment where a true celebrity joins us and you are an eco warrior. And I want to make sure everyone takes out their phone. There's a selfie moment and take a photo of my friend, Peter Lacey and the environmental action price. So this is what you take out your phone, flip the camera. And this is Peter smile. So I'm smiling, Vikas, just on the basis that you are the world's selfie king, and I am literally the <laughs> world's selfie pauper who, <laughs> who never takes any selfies. <laughs> so, so what we're asking everyone to do is put out a message saying strong schools, hashtag strong schools, make strong societies. Let's learn from the world's best schools on how we can all improve. Uh, thank you, everyone, for participating. Now, Peter, um, what what do you have to say about our three schools? Uh, and now before you do that, before you do that, I want to introduce the three schools yeah, uh, and make sure that they're here. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the most famous Green School of Bali. Welcome, Bali. We can't hear you. Unmute yourself. Hey, hey, hey. hello from Bali. Fantastic. Please welcome the International School, School of Zugan Lizern. <laughs> welcome, welcome to you. And finally, but not least, the Philippines. Hello, Philippines. Hello, Philippines. No, no, it's hello to us, not to Philippines. Yes, it's, we, we get you're excited. We get that you're excited. I think the Philippines might win on excitement. <laughs> well, my, my, my friends, I, I am delighted that Peter Lacey is now going to tell us a little bit about the three schools and what he finds imaginative. And then we will announce uh, the winner of this year's World's Best School Prize for Environmental Action.
Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I, I, we might have to go on mute because I think the Philippines are so, so, so excited. <laughs> but uh, wonderful to see all three schools, really absolutely phenomenal um, uh, efforts. Uh, it, I, I, and like Vikas and the, the whole judging team will, I think, echo um, my sentiment in saying that to make a decision between these three schools is impossible. I mean, you're all doing incredible, incredible things. And so when it is announced, I think, you know, uh, it's uh, it's a very, very fine decision because all of the uh, activities and impacts are so amazing. I mean, when I looked at um, the, the Philippines school, when we looked at the Philippines school, um, yeah, uh, and, and I will probably not pronounce it right, but Bonwan Bukih uh, National High School, um, you know, in uh, Dagupan City, I mean, in the Philippines, it's, you know, it's a state secondary school, 2,000 students, and the, the, the incredible inspiration that they have brought to their communities in helping to rebuild after the 2009 typhoon, but the fact that they've been working collaboratively with local stakeholders, with the city, um, the fact that they've managed to actually turn, I think, you know, not just education into something that is a learning experience, but actually has genuinely helped to protect their community in the future. Um, and mobilized hundreds of volunteers uh, to actually look at mangrove and protection to look at managing uh, the, the flooding uh, defenses. I think it's just fantastic. That win-win um, has been brilliant. Um, Green Barley School, I mean, sort of, you know, the, the title says it all, set up from the very beginning to address these issues. And, and I think what impressed us all was how incredibly systemic and infused the green barley school approach is you know it really is not a bolt-on or an add-on or an environmental lesson it's you know in everything that um that they do and everything that they not just uh i think it's incredibly important both you and i Vic, i said this all along that you know <clears throat> on the one hand there's the activities there's the curriculum but also, um, you know, kids are very, very smart and uh, they look very carefully at how schools are run themselves, um, you know, and actually making sure that there's no disconnect between the way a school is run and the way actually that uh, people are uh, espousing the values of sustainability. So things like the 100% biofuel powered transportation, you from using recycled cooking oil, um, you know, which saves more than four tons of CO2 a month. I mean, those sorts of very practical, concrete things that schools can do in terms of the way that they manage their schools. I was incredibly impressed with, with that. Um, so I think that was, that was a great example of systemic, you know, really um, uh, powerful examples of curriculum infusion, um, but also how to run a school in a sustainable way. Um, and, I, and I love the fact that uh, that we've also got um, someone from you know, the Northern Hemisphere in Zug and Luzern. Um, you know, I think you know, some of the way efforts that were made around zero waste, um, some, the passion of some of the students and the new ideas and innovation of some of the new students, uh, sorry, of these students to actually come up with ideas rather than the, the faculty and the, and the teachers, actually a lot of it coming from the students who are desperate to see these things put in place. Things like aquaponic systems on campus, I've never seen that before. Um, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, I think also the partnership that they had with Ghana, I really love that idea of the North and the South. Um, uh, in my own um, children's school, we've set up a partnership with Jamaica as well. And I, I like, I really like that idea that we are going to have to solve so many of these issues um, between the North and the South, right? It's not going to, you know, the, the, the battle will be won in the South, but the demand is still coming from the North. And we've probably not set the best example, um, but hopefully we can help to partner and team. Uh, from the school level right up through to business and policy. So just a few reflections on three very, very different approaches. Um, actually, maybe each of you can learn from each other, even though you're outstanding. Um, and, and I hope that many, many others can. And, and the big exciting thing for me, and you know this, Vikas, and I'll finish with this, is that what I'm hoping is <clears throat> that we, as Accenture, um, you know, we have 745,000 people ourselves. Um, I don't think I know anyone who either isn't in a community where there's a school or anyone who isn't a parent 
and we're very much hoping to uh, use that as a uh, an inspiration for them to take some of your examples and to share them with their own schools and their own communities as well so thank you for the inspiration and thank you for all you're doing well thank you peter and um and we now hand over to a very young lady called mika who will announce um the winner of this year's world's best school prize for environmental action here we go Hello, my name is Mika and I am eight years old. The winner for this year's World's Best School Prize for Environmental Action is... Bunuan Rookie National High School in the Philippines. Yay! <laughs> we would hear them. We would love to hear the the noise, huh? Yeah, I definitely. I, I, I think I, you. we can't hear you. Unmute yourselves, folks. But I, I think I get the impression that it's pretty loud. <laughs> but incredibly well deserved. You can't hear us. Incredible. Let's wait for you to settle down. Well done to the Philippines. My commiserations to the other two schools. Um, please know that you are. <laughs> Well done. Well done, Philippines. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We are so happy and excited. Renato, Renato, you need to speak up. Tell us what it means. Our feelings and emotions are louder than uh, to the world. And what does this win mean for you? It's a big um, crisis to our school and to our community. And and what do you hope to happen after this prize win? Actually, uh, he is our regional director and our mayor. Uh, uh, celebrating for the for our winning. Well, fantastic. Many congratulations to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and please know that we, we admire your work greatly. And I know that your government in the Philippines is going to have a policy pronouncement. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Peter, they're screaming for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would like to uh, send a message. Glory to God for this early Christmas gift to King Bakawan. Our gratitude to see for Best School World Prizes led by its founder, Vikas Kota, and his staff. To Miss Moira, our assessor, Accenture, one of the most prestigious and largest firms in the consultant industry. American Express, headed by the CEO, Stephen Spiri, and to all other people, sponsors, and supporters. We share this honor and triumph to our DepEd Secretary, Vice President Sara Duterte, 4th District Representative Congressman Tof de Venecia, Pangasinan Governor Ramon Dico, LGU Dagupan City led by Mayor Belen Fernandez, Barangay Bunuang Bukig officials led by Joseph Maramba, ICO Director Margarita Balisteros, Region 1 Director Tolentino Aquino, SDO Dagupan Family led by Superintendent Aguido Fernandez, Project led Maria Linda Arbentinilla, Project Proponent Willie Gid, Past BBNHS Principals, our Department Heads, Teachers, Parents, and Students. We extend our thanks to DNR, DUPAR, PNP, DSP, GSP, Knights of Columbus, GCI, Rotary Club, Eagles, and all other public and private partner agencies and individuals. To our dear BBNHS team, Bakawan, Philippines. We have gone this far, only driven and powered mostly of passion and community. We promise to continue this environmental action till our last breath. 
aside from benefits that the mangrove planting provides to our locals, our advocacy all maintains balance in the ecosystem. Extensive and connected ecosystems can safeguard us from the impacts of climate change. We hope that this humble endeavor would reach more people to act now and be one of us, saving Mother Nature through sustainable solutions. To our dear President, Bongbong Marcos, all other officials, beloved Filipino Filipi peoples, please to do support Team Bakawat para sa batang Filipino, para sa bayang Pilipinas, Mabuhay! Mabuhay, for sure. Well, thank you so much, Team Philippines, uh, for everything that you do. Many congratulations, and make sure you have a most incredible day. Thank you so much, and many congratulations. Peter, you're taking a selfie, my friend, not a photo. Uh, take a picture of other people. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much, everyone, for being very, very many congratulations. We could be here all day. Peter. <laughs> well, I hope they do celebrate all day. They deserve it richly. Peter, thank you so much for joining us. Very grateful to you and your support. Uh, we look forward to our continued partnership. Thank you so much.